Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're diving right back into Elite Zoo North with, as always, a lot to accomplish. So no time to waste, folks. Ooh, 421 animals. Ooh, wow. Missed it by one animal. Missed it by one animal. Anyway, uh, no time to waste, folks. Let's dive on in and, uh, and get to work over here. A fair bit to do. There will hopefully be a time lapse today, uh, maybe closer to the latter half or the end of this session. Uh, there's some management stuff I wanna take care of first. What I might end up doing is uh, sort of punctuate the, the management with the time lapse, depending on what order we approach things in. Actually, you know what? You know what? I take it back, I take it all back. We're gonna we're gonna try and put the time lapse within the first 10 minutes or so of the, uh, the session, and then we're gonna do the management stuff afterwards. Uh, because I feel like there's a lot I wanna get done, and uh, it, it might not be the longest time lapse, um, but it is going to be a bit of a beauty pass. I'm going to get some stuff cleaned up, going to get some stuff in place, and uh, hopefully we're going to start seeing uh, guests actually using some of these new loops to visit some of these new animals. I'm really excited to see how our uh, new uh, enclosures do, and I'm really excited as well to add more, because we're, we're about done with uh, East Asia and with the Arctic Circle, if you will. So um, it's almost time to move on to, as many of you have been requesting, uh, not just Africa, but also South America. So uh, super exciting times at uh, with the Elite Zoo Company, as it were. As I always mention, folks, I will mention once again, if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, the best way to make sure that happens is by letting me know you're having a good time. And the best way to do that is by leaving a like and a comment down below. So do please keep those coming. Uh, they really help me make judgment calls for uh, the channel as a whole and also for each series because I do read through the comments to get your suggestions, your thoughts, your opinions, uh, and things like that. It makes a massive difference in how I approach things. Now, I will mention, as always, I like to keep it to just once a month at most because... I'm just like that about mentioning this. <laughs> uh, I don't want to badger people about it. But if you've been really, really, really enjoying this series and maybe also other stuff on the channel too, uh, I humbly request that maybe you check check out my uh, Patreon. And the link to that will be in the description down below and under the eye at the top right corner of the screen. Uh, and if you don't like the idea of Patreon for whatever reason you might have, uh, you can also become a channel member by clicking the join button that should be right below the video. Um, think of it like a Twitch subscription or like a Netflix subscription or what have you. Uh, again, as always, not an obligation at all. Uh, just something I wanted to throw out there uh, because I appreciate it, obviously. But, but, but again, it's not an obligation. Uh, don't feel like you have to uh, become a patron or a channel member or anything. Uh, I will say, though, as you may have grown familiar with this by now, uh, as a channel member or patron, the uh, one of the perks is uh, sort of priority naming rights. And though we take name suggestions for enclosures and uh, and and vendors from everybody, uh, one thing that's exclusive to patrons and members uh, is the option to have staff named after you, uh, and in the, and the option to get uh, to sponsor some animals. Now I already have some requests for animal sponsorships and staff naming from you know prior episodes and stuff, but this is just a reminder, folks, that I will be doing it in the next episode alongside a beauty pass. Um, or no, so it wouldn't be the next episode, but the episode after that, uh, so it lines up with our beauty pass. Uh, and if you're interested, all you have to do if you're a member is you just leave a comment down below. There will be an icon next to your name, so I'll know you're a member. Uh, but if you're a patron, then just shoot me a private message on Patreon. Uh, that way I know who you are and uh, I can, I can you know, put in your requested name suggestion or what have you. Um, and just as a reminder, that is a perk for, for members and patrons. Um, so that, that is something a little special for, uh, for you know, for those who are under that designation, as it were. Anyway, um, I think that's enough time spent talking about that. Again, my apologies. I try to keep it to once a month because I don't like badgering people about it. Let's get down to business, shall we? Let's get this party started, as I like to say. First things first that I'm going to do uh, while we're paused. How is it May 2nd? I remember pausing on May 1st at the end of last session. And it's like right at the beginning of this session, despite pausing immediately, it's already May 2nd. It's so fast. It's so fast how time flies by. Uh, okay, so one thing I want to do right away is we're going to move this bin. Honestly, it's, we've gone from being traumatized by polar bears to uh, to, to plastic bins. The P, the PBSD is, uh, is, is, is strong. Uh, what am I doing here? So I'm going to go ahead and actually get rid of the pathing. Because as many of you have pointed out, this far away from, you know, all the uh, activity and stuff, it, it's not a main road anymore, so to speak. So we can very much uh, make this thinner. Uh, we can make it, I don't know if four meters is 
right? We could go with like five meters maybe. And if I could just, I mean, of course this is gonna work worse now. There we go. Uh, let's see if we raise it up a little bit maybe. Right, and then pop it back down. There we go, that should, that should hopefully do the trick for us. Like, tell me I can connect you over here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's all broken now. Okay, there, there we go, that's a horrible mess. It's moments like this that give me so much grief. <laughs> um, okay, we're okay, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Uh, let's turn off the angle snap up here. Hmm. Game, you know what I want you to do. You know exactly what I want from you. Let's go and turn on flattened terrain. That shouldn't be it. Okay. Got the path going a little too wide, actually. Back down to four. See, this, I, I, in my head, this was not going to take this long to do. And I didn't need to do this with a time lapse. But now that I'm actually doing it, now that I'm actually executing it, it has become evident to me that uh, maybe a time lapse would not have been a bad idea. <laughs> Come on now. Just connect the way I want you to. You know exactly what I want from you, game. You know exactly what I want from you. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, excellent. I like how that looks a lot better. Again, it's not a main road, so people will be able to, uh, like, it won't get super congested or anything. It's got a decent shape to it as well. It's got a nice kind of, like, up and then back down as well, so I don't quite mind that. It's not what we had before, but I don't mind it. Uh, and it enters you into this space over here. Now, some of y'all were suggesting that we move the uh, entrance, like, through the mountains or something, so our keepers would actually go around this way and then come through uh, the mountains. That's not a bad idea. However, we would still... Actually, you know what? No, we, we can do that. Okay, here's what we're going to do for that. Um, here's what we're going to do for that. I'm going to try and do some of this stuff without the time lapse. I hope y'all don't mind. Um, okay, hold on. What? I'm trying to make it a null. There should be no reason it can't be made to a null, right? Okay, let's... Um, what I could do is... I could have the keepers come through the back over there i suppose it's a long way for them to go from from over here to go all the way to the back that's a long way i think i'd much rather they come in through here or something uh in which case i'd have to move this stuff over a little bit uh, let's see let's see if i go ahead and drag ah see that's this there are all these little nuances these needless nuances, I would say, that uh, affect how easily you can adjust. Um, see, like this, like it's a null barrier. It should the height differences in the train should not matter, but of course they do. Okay, you know what? I, I think I'm going to keep it as is for now. Uh, we'll, we, maybe we'll deal with it afterwards. But because I, I, I like the idea, what we could do is we could have guests, or oh, sorry, uh, our keepers coming in from the mountainside and that way we can get rid of the the uh the paneling over here and we can make this all water and the water will still be the uh separator the only issue is that if the monkeys can get onto here they'll be able to climb across uh so we'll have to do something about that anyway now many of you have actually pointed out that uh i don't actually need the guest uh entrance i can use uh architectural pieces because guests can kind of clip through them while animals can't i've i've, I've seen a lot of uh solutions like that uh, put forward and I totally uh, uh, like appreciate all the the problem solving and stuff in the comments so please don't take this the wrong way or anything uh, but I'm just I, I'm just uh, probing for answers here I'm just curious what y'all think because the reason why I don't want to do something like that is because it feels um, uh, for the purposes of this let's play specifically it feels a little disingenuous because we've been trying our best to keep things as like believable or real as possible whenever possible uh so to all of a sudden then say um oh yeah you know what monkeys can't go through bushes and so we're just gonna put down some bushes and our guests can clip through architectural pieces. Like, that's not realistic. And I'm not saying everything we do is always 100% realistic, obviously. We break the laws of physics here and there every once in a while. We do some silly things every once in a while. Um, but that's something I wonder about, which is why I'm throwing it out there. Because it's a valid solution. I'm not taking anything away from the solution at all. I'm just wondering what y'all feel, uh, what y'all think about it. And uh, I'll have to consider uh, how I feel about it as well, obviously. Because that's something I've been trying to avoid 
uh, is uh, is using that clipping to our uh, our advantage from a game perspective. Uh, so just throwing it out there. Now, many of y'all pointed out that this thing covered in snow is absolutely gorgeous. I wholeheartedly agree. So we're probably going to actually cool the temperatures down here a bit more than they are already. Uh, make this entire area actually maybe feel uh, like a like a chilly zone, like a nice chill zone, right? Because because you relax at an onsen, so you're chilling at. Anyways, um, <laughs> totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um. So we're gonna gonna make some adjustments over there. Uh, we're gonna do some work over here as well. Uh, but a lot of it is beauty pass stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, I think we'll be another five minutes or so before we dive into the beauty pass. Those of you that are wondering how long before it comes, um, let's go ahead and add our vendors over here, and then I will. Uh, I've got I've got some adjustments to make back at the uh, the Japanese side. And then we'll, uh, we'll we'll hop on into our time lapse. So first things first, I might let time move forward a bit so that the rain stops at the very least, and then we'll hop into our time lapse. Uh, but yeah, first things first, let's go ahead into our facilities. I want to make sure I have an info center. So what I'm going to do here is I actually quite like. I uh, don't know if this is going to work. I was going to say I quite like what I did um, over here where we alternate back and forth. Um, and I thought that'd be interesting over here as well, but I don't know if that'll work. What I wonder is, in terms of planning positioning of animals, I think what I'll do is I'll put the uh, wolves down over here, the Arctic wolves down over here, and over here is where we'll put the Siberian tiger. That way it's a bit of a transition from the Arctic to the East Asia zone. It kind of makes sense with, uh, like if we take a look at the Zoopedia, the Zoopedia, there we go. If you look at the Siberian tiger, you'll see that it's, uh, you know, it's an appropriate location for it, so to speak, right? Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Then we suggested in the comments as well. So Siberian tiger, perhaps over here, you can train by it. We'll adjust, obviously, the walkways over here so there are more angles to see it. Uh, but I think that'd be nice. I don't want to make it a massive enclosure. Well, I do want to, but I shouldn't. <laughs> um, and so the Arctic wolves can be over here on this side. Uh, and that way we'll spread the interest across this entire area uh, pretty nicely, I think. Um, but, sorry, enough of a digression. How do I want to play this? Because I do have some cool ideas that were suggested to me, but I'm just not sure. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Uh, again, let's use a narrower path because we can. I want to make sure I'm using the Arctic path here. Is that? Yep. There we go. So let's go ahead and... Put this down over here. I'm gonna get the angles here correct. I think I'm a little off, maybe. Get rid of you. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. I wish you wouldn't snap. There we go. Excellent. I'm in charge here, not the pathing system, which is a far cry from how we started this uh, <laughs> let's play. Um,. Okay, so this I like, and then we're gonna, we're gonna, actually, sorry, on the topic of starting this Let's Play, I have to, my, uh, I don't know, never, I've never been diagnosed, but I wouldn't be surprised if I have some degree of, uh, ADHD or something. Uh, I, I, I bounce around a lot, an idea comes to me, and I go, oh, right, yeah, I gotta take care of that thing. I don't know, <laughs> it's fun, it's fun to, <laughs> to live life on my toes like this. I got a great suggestion for the Gulpy Soda here, uh, and mentioning the beginning of this Let's Play immediately made me remember, I don't want to forget to drop this name in, uh, where did that suggestion go? There it is. Forgetty Soda. It's like a gulpy soda, except it's a forgetty soda, because we keep forgetting to, uh, to name it. Even though I brought it up a couple of sessions ago, I think it slipped everyone's mind, mine included. Uh, and what I like about this is that it also plays into the idea of, I'm sure we've all done this at least once in our lives, where you realize, oh no, I forgot to pack the water, or I forgot to pack the, I don't know, soda, or whatever it might be. So it's, you know, if you forgot to pack your soda, you go to the forgetty soda, and uh, <laughs> and and you pick it up. Anyway, uh, just I I, I want to make sure I didn't forget that. My apologies. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So we want an info center for sure. I say we put that down over here. I, I think the info center is always like one of those things that you want to put in the middle, right? Not just because the name has center in it, but because uh, it just feels like one of those things. So let's put you down over here. They never really get long lines. What I want to do is, if I put this down over, say, here, then I can go ahead and get a food spot. Guest facilities, let's go ahead, let's 
Let's go with drink first. Let's see. What do I want? What do I want? We got reindeer here. What goes well with reindeer? You know, it gets cold up around these parts. So let's get a Street Fox coffee down first. And if it would let me... Oh, come on. Don't do this to me again. Don't do this to me. You know you can connect. You know you want to. You know you want to. Come on. Uh, where do you go? Street Fox coffee. Trying to add it to the group. Maybe that'll do the trick. Hmm. Strange. We'll make this work. We'll make this work. Okay, let's go ahead and put you down over here like so. Because I want people to come to the central area. Uh, and let's go on the other side and put down a gulpy energy, maybe. Right? Put this down over here. I don't mind it being in a group. Kind of keeps things uh, organized a little bit. Let's go ahead and get food on the other side. So, again, what fits? What says reindeer to me? I mean, I guess, I guess Monsieur Frit. It just makes me think about, uh, like, French Canada, I guess. Um, so we'll put that down over here, but before I do that, sorry. I want to get some merch. What do I want? I want a... Loony balloons. You know, balloons... Balloons make me happy. Balloons are fun. Let's get some more balloons in this zoo. Maybe there's a bit of a balloon-popping guilt in there. From a couple sessions ago. I still feel bad about that one guy whose balloon I popped by mistake. Man. Hope he's watching this. I hope he knows I'm sorry. Alright, let's go ahead and put you down over here. Is that horrendous? I mean, only slightly, right? Only slightly. Come on. How about, how about like that? Something's not right here. Something's not right here. <laughs> I keep hearing the Looney Balloons, like, voice, and it's... It's, uh... Something special, that's for sure. Alright, you know what the problem is? The problem is this thing's not lined up properly. So let's go ahead and put this one down properly. Alright, drop you down, say, over... So many useless hires just standing there now. It's okay, we need the extras, actually. We need the extras. I always forget to hire the extras lately. Alright, now you are going to move. Sorry. Can I move? Hmm. Okay. I was hoping I could attach it, but not necessary. We could just do it. Just use, use our eyes. That seems about right. Close enough for now. We'll adjust it later. Alright, cool. Uh, so that's that. Let's go ahead and get our our poutine stall, if you will. If you've never had poutine in your life, I can highly recommend it. I can highly recommend it. It is uh, truly a gift for uh, for humanity. Um, why don't you look lined up? It's all the, the curved paths, obviously, because it's it's on a grid, so it has to be lined up. We'll have to adjust this path down here a little bit, I think. Uh, but what else are we missing here? We've got merch. We've got drink. I guess we need another food stall. We've got a pair of drink stalls. Let's get a pair of food stalls, um, ice cream this far up where it's cold. Don't think so. Let's go with a Missy Good. Oh, obviously it's obstructed. What am I doing? <laughs> Come on, party. Let's go ahead and get rid of this section a little bit. For you a little bit. And we're using this path. Over to you. Let's go ahead and widen you right out. Again, even even making this 10 meters might be a bit uh, much, if I'm honest. But we're okay. Not the end of the world. Let's do that. Let's see if this works. Do that. And then loop back. Like so. Hopefully that's enough room. And in fact, one thing I should check uh, before I get ahead of myself, like I already have done to a degree... I should check to make sure that these can connect. They cannot. All right. That's so strange to me. It's like, why, why, why would you not connect? I, I know the game was telling me that they wouldn't, that they would refuse to connect, but lo and behold, confirmation. Fair enough. Not a problem. Backup plan activated. Go ahead and exit the group here then. Gotta raise you a bit, that's all. 
in we go over here um and that's good at least some people will have easy access to stuff right away and then others they'll be on their way to the arctic foxes and and get access to the food they want uh, let's go ahead and exit the group again I got it. Yep. And actually, you know, I shouldn't mind if this is a little bit all over the place. Uh, let's put you down. You know what, folks? This will be a time lapse. We're going to redo that. It's going to be a time lapse. I'm not going to waste any more time on that right now. My apologies. Uh, before I get into that, though, back up to Japan. And let's sort some stuff out over here, right? We've got a, what have we got? We've got a info center called Maca Questions. <laughs> we've got, um, we've got a hot dog squad. What do, we, what do we have? We've got a hot dog squad. We've got Looney Balloons, Street, Pip Shot Water. Okay. Well, the fries are instead going to be, um, you know, I might actually swap the fries out for something else. Yeah, I will. All right. So instead of fries, we're going to have... <laughs> we're going to have these... The little jingles or whatever you want to call them. Uh, we're going to have a Mexilente. And the reason for that is because... Of the name suggestion I got. Which is... Which is... Macaco Taco. And uh, because there's no equivalent, I don't mind the Hot Dog Squad being renamed to... Mac Cacaroni. Oh, <laughs> some of these are really tough to say. It's a good way to stop uh, your kids from wanting junk food, I guess. Make it make it impossible to say. Uh, the pip shot water. We're going to go ahead and call um, the monkey bar, right? And uh, I actually want to add a couple more great ideas I got, uh, which makes sense in the region as well. Let's go ahead and put down a. Street Fox Coffee. I wonder... I could put it down, like, over here or something. Yeah, let's put the Street Fox Coffee down over here. Street Fox Coffee. I'm gonna call you... Sorry, not not the group. We're gonna call you... Um, where'd it go? Right. Oh, God. I keep reading this wrong, and so saying it wrong in my head. Uh, so it's a mocha... K. Mocac. Mo, mo, mocac? I don't know, <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Mocha versus... Oh god, it went away. Mocha... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Makes sense for a coffee spot. Alright, I like it, and plus, if we're gonna keep this area uh, kind of cool, then it's a good idea to have this. Uh, breaks our symmetry a little bit, but I don't mind that. It's nice to have a little bit of asymmetry here and there. And I wonder if I want to add another thing on this side, actually. We've got a uh, Looney Balloons, for which I did not get... Hold on a second, what have, what have I done here? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We've got the Looney Balloons here. Um, I've got a different name suggestion, but... Oh, I kind of want to have balloons here. I don't have a, a name suggestion for uh, for balloons, though. So keep that coming. And I believe I've got everything else here named. Okay, cool. You know what? That's, uh, that's good for now. Let's go ahead and unpause. Um, and what I'll be doing is, while we're unpaused, I'm going to add some VFX up over here, wait for the rain to go, and once the rain is gone, we'll get into our time lapse. Seems like it's going to be a middle of the episode time lapse instead. My apologies for potentially having uh, maybe misled some of y'all. Not my intent, obviously. I did not realize how long I would spend doing some of the things I've done so far. Uh, I do, however, want to pick up some more animals. 4,295, that longevity is real low. But all the other genetics looking beautiful you know what i think i'd rather spend half the price for something that's more evenly spread out i think let's find out if you were to be with suki mm, it's okay kind of high middling high middling right and what about our other buddy over here if you were to be with suki yeah you see that drop that's bad that's bad so Spend less, get better, right? That's like a catchy, catchy slogan for a... Ooh, hello. Hey, even, even more less and get even more better. Izanagi. Done. Adopted. Egan is the name of a, uh... Of a pet food company here. <laughs> or actually, rather not. 
here. I think they're actually from Germany, but they also sell goods here. Anyway, sorry. Over into quarantine for you. Let's go. There we go. And let's go ahead and pick ourselves up a female as well. Um, yes, I know my trade center is a bit of a mess. I have to go through with a trade run. Oh, no more females available right now? There was one available just moments ago, but I guess she's gone. Fair enough. One more monkey to add to the crowd. Um, I'm not going to, to many of your point, I'm not going to move the trees until after we have all the monkeys in, and then we can see what the guests are saying, uh, and then we can make some adjustments accordingly. All right, let's go ahead and hit play. Let's wait for the rain to abate, uh, but as we do that, let us also uh, put down some of the steam and stuff that I've been meaning to do, uh, if I could. No, it's not called steam. What's it called? What is it called? Keep my eye on that top left corner as well. Snow, waterfall. I mean, I guess I've got my waterfall here as well that I could... That I may as well, since I've already highlighted the thing. Right? There's our waterfall all nicely done up. Beautiful. I like that. What else am I looking for? Smoke. It's not smoke. Mist. I guess mist is what I'm looking for. Keeper cannot reach habitat. Which habitat? This one? Did I remove it at one point and it's no longer in a work zone let's find out um work zones east asia please no it's in here these two aren't but that is now fixed yeah that's weird i'm not sure about that problem and actually since i'm in the staff area might as well get the vet research going wow this rain just got worse uh, Amelia Young, let's get you on the... Where are they? Where are they? There you are. Done. That'll be nice. Freya is about to mate. Good stuff. More baby reindeer en route. Multiple animals of low welfare. I wonder which one that is. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. I, I realize what happened. I realize what happened. And, of course, this path is not going to allow me to connect. Okay. Fancy. Real fancy. Okay, before we solve that, there's a... There's certainly a degree of feeling of chaos lately. <laughs> around these parts. Um, where do I want to put the feeding down? Let's pause it for a second here. There's just so much going on. All right, um, are they able to drink from this water? I don't think so. So what I want to do is I actually want them to eat around here. So like right when you come through, you can see the uh, animals eating. I also want them to rest around here. Um, so let's go ahead and put the uh, eating where? Zoom out a bit more. Put the eating down over here, I think. Right? Over here. And you go. So food gets delivered over here, and we have our resting down over here. Um, let's go with the bedding rather than the, the leaves. I think the bedding makes more sense. I'll just go with some of the smaller ones. What I'd really like to do, actually... Okay, let's let's try this out, right? Go ahead and put uh, some of the stuff down over here. Well, hopefully they like hiding from the rain, because otherwise the hard shelter will be rather wasteful. Uh, but let's get all this down over here. And what I might want to do is um, add like an attic type thing over here. I don't know how accurate that is. The other thing I could do... Oh, nah, I don't like the... I was going to say it's like, you know how you kind of have like lockers and stuff where you put your clothes in? I could make like a little shelving unit over here, like a shelf unit. And have all those be beds, because that way they'd have something to climb into to go to bed. But, I don't know, that feels like such a confined space. I don't know how I feel about that. They're small-ish animals, but that feels a little... I don't know, I feel a little gross about that. But it could be a neat idea. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see how much space we can give them if we do something like that. So, okay, we've got their food set up. Let's go ahead and also get them a water pipe, just to be safe. Water pipe, let's go. And let's get the water down in this kind of an area as well. There's a lot happening near the entrance. Um, and I think 
we move this. I'd like to have this like down over here or something to make sure that it's not blocked from the people. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot happening near the entrance. So guests, as soon as they come through, they'll hopefully be able to experience at least one animal. Uh, but then as they move around, I mean, I, again, I could put some stuff down over here as well, but we'll we'll see about that. Like maybe as as they become more numerous, I might put more feeding and uh, and drinking opportunities down over here. Okay, cool. That's done. We do need to fix this right away, though. This is a big problem. This is a big problem. I uh, did not realize that was going to happen. Now, there's an easy way to solve this, and I think for now at least we're going to take that easy path because, again, I, I do want to accomplish a fair bit today. Um, where's my... There it is. I nudge you over ever so slightly. You're going to break, obviously, because why wouldn't you? Why would you just work? I obviously can't move this down as we learned last time. Okay, okay. The path is working, so at least there's that. Um... I guess I could demolish you. If I do that, then I can't connect to this, obviously. Um, let's see. I mean, is this just a temporary solution? Or am I, um, lying to myself? Obviously can't do this kind of a thing. Okay, let's switch to the right thing at least, just so I can visually see how this might work uh we could lower this a little bit sooner i guess keep the angle snap on because that's the problem here we could lower that and then do that and then do oh, are you come on seriously does that make any sense how does that make any sense all right okay we're fine we're fine we're fine this wonky no that does not that is not okay by me um i guess we could do this sooner hang on it doesn't go as high and hopefully you're not making any sense to me game Clearly, we can, we can go out this way, but we can't go in this way. I mean, I, I get it. I know exactly what's happening, too. I know exactly what's happening. All right. Because we're too close to the barrier. But I can't move this around because we end up... Disrupts lake placement. All right, fine. Go ahead and... Get rid of you. And now, just I just need to nudge it ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. There we go. All I wanted. Beautiful. Um, now, actually, since we're here already, do I get rid of this and add the other entrance? Let me see something here. If I get rid of you... We, we, okay, we might be able to make this work on its own. Let's see. Bear with me here for, folk, for a minute, folks. Hope y'all don't mind. Hope y'all don't mind. If we do that kind of a thing, we might not need to send our um, keepers through the mountains. Hmm. Let's see, what about you? Turn you into a null as well. All oh, right, of course, these need to be nulls. I deleted them, I think. Game, don't be like that. There we go. Done. So this is better. Uh, what I could do here is actually extend this a little bit. Right? Like I could do this kind of a thing. Right? There we go. So this feels like it's a bit more integrated. Um, I could... Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I, I'm starting to... I'm starting to like this. Um, I I would like the animal to be able to come up over here. I just need to figure out how to block it from getting out from up over there. Because if it comes up over here, what we can do is we can add little like... I don't want to say spikes, but we can add little some things to prevent it from jumping out over here. Because that's really the only concern. Then again, this might be too high for it to jump off of as well. 
that would work to our advantage too. Let's go ahead and get this support beam over here just so it looks a bit, bit more believable because uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain I don't have enough support beams if I'm completely honest. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, flip you around, pull you up over here just to add a bit of variety in terms of rotation and stuff. There we go. And we'll see how the animal interacts with the space. Um, done? Yeah, done. We can hit play. Put the water in and everything. Somebody got boxed up. <laughs> uh, all right, back to construction. Let's go ahead and take a look at what was it missed, right? That we were considering with a large mist effect. Go big or go home, right? Uh, the huge mist effect. Let's see how this looks. That feels about right. I want to make sure that it shows in the right spots. I wonder if that's a bit much, actually. Is that a bit much? I feel like that's a bit much. All right, I take back what I said about going big or going home. Yeah, that's that's better, I feel like. Put it next to the rocks so it feels like they have, like, an origin point that makes, you know, some degree of sense. Have we got inbreeding animals and stuff? What have we got going on? Low welfare for one of the scorpions. Okay, let's quickly address this. I imagine the issue is, yeah. Not surprised, I haven't checked on them in a long time. You and you, oh, they're actually getting kind of old. Let's uh, swap the cyclers out. Winona and Wright get to stay. Everybody else is gone, cool. Animals a little stressed up there. We'll, we'll, take, care, we'll take good care of them in a moment. Any... Titan beetles are dying. Any fighting? Any fighting? Freya is expecting offspring. I see no fighting. Okay, good. Oh, sun's up. Now we just gotta wait for the rain to go away. Where's my mist? There we go. Put a large one down over here, maybe. Just so it's a bit more noticeable. Oh, yeah. I'm liking how this is feeling. Put a large one down here as well. Typically, the way particles work is like the number of particles and also the number of emitters will affect uh, the efficiency of like rendering and processing. So I'm trying to find like a happy, happy middle ground, I guess, if you will. Put a huge one here. Nice big empty space. All right, all right, it's feeling good. Disease animal discovered. Vet called. Instant response. I like it. Put you down over here. Let's get some of the medium ones down over here. One over there. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And maybe one over here. Really hoping it gives us a nice, kind of authentic feel once it's all nice and smoky. Like, I feel like this is pretty good. I feel like we could use a large one roughly in the middle here, though. There we go. I'm liking that. Oh, monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Feeding time, I assume. What are they, dirty looking monkey? Oh, don't tell me you can escape from over here. Of course you can. And away they go. <laughs> Saw it coming. Capture you. Easily fixed. Gotta bring this thing over here. That might still be enough room for them. Oh, that's definitely enough room for them to escape over. Not a problem. Just got to extend this a touch. Make sure they can't get out. Good hustle. I like it. You could hear the hustle. All right. Obviously, we want to make sure this carries up top so it doesn't just kind of stick out like a sore thumb over here. Get all of you selected. There we go. Good to see so many people coming through. Don't give me confetti like you just delivered the animal. You you stopped an escaping animal. Uh, we haven't brought them any toys or anything yet, but that's because I want to do um. I want to do a little bit of building before I do that. Let's just check here. So they got a couple escape routes over there. They got one over here if they can get to, but they can't. Can they? I don't think so. And they're willing to jump out over here. Okay. 
They're willing to jump out over here. No surprise there, I suppose. I guess they can jump from down here up to there. What if I move this over a little bit? Because we'll have to do a little bit of adjusting there as well. Oh, you know what? That's the thing. It's not a jump. It's the fact that it's over the, uh, over the edge. Where'd my monkey go? There you are. And we've got one in quarantine as well. I'm sure who's ready to leave quarantine. There we go. Love it. Beautiful. And it looks like they can get to some of the rocks. So that's good. They can't get to all of them, though. Which is a bit of a bummer. I would have liked to see them kind of, you know, hop down over here. They're monkeys. They can jump. They can climb. Trinity, our grizzly bear, is about to mature. Gotta keep an eye on that. And where is... There we go. <gasps> Amelia died. No. All the vet. Don't need any bones in this, uh... In this zone. And Izanagi... Oh, no. Was diseased. Tularemia. Tularemia? Was that the new... Oh. Is Izanagi our new addition? Hang on, then. Destination not set. Where are you carrying our monkey to? To surgery, perhaps? I hope. Protesters have arrived for our titan beetles. Not surprised. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. I mean, the protesters. Also the beetles, technically. Also the beetles. Uh, let's just go ahead and keep you and you and you. No, that's not what I meant. There. Everybody else at the Trade Center. That should help. Their enclosure might be dirty as well. What does... Why is that taking so long? Yeah, it looks like it's dirty. Call the keeper over here. One might be en route already. I need to get more keepers and stuff. Good to see people are still roaming around these areas, though. I always worry about things going dead after new additions are made. What's happened here? Oh, wow, you can escape. Of course you can. I mean, that's cute. It's cute. I don't hate it. You're gonna make your way back in, right? Yep. With a little hop. Oh, relax. He's not escaped anymore. He's back in. Yeah, see? I'm trying to figure out how we can allow them to climb this rock. But not get any further. I'd have to adjust the barriers a little bit. Mm. Yeah, no, I guess that's not really an option. Unfortunately. We'll, we'll put the trees over. In my mind, like, when the trees are intersecting the uh, paneling like this, it's, uh... The paneling has been built around the tree. Uh, you'll see that in places. Put you down there. Go ahead and get you... Down over here. Again, right by the edge. That's probably still a big enough gap for a monkey to get through. Right? Rotate you a little bit for variety. Put you down over there. It's a dead tree society over here. Okay, well, going through the roof is obviously not acceptable. All right, time for a more classic solution, I suppose. Go ahead and undo all that. Redo the last step. I ended something extra by mistake. Uh, let's go ahead and pull these over. I turn the light on so it's not so dark. I totally get, many of you have been mentioning as well, that the glare and stuff now, especially with, um, with, uh, you know, the sun having shifted its direction and whatnot, the glare is becoming a bit of a problem for some of you, uh, with watching when things are dark. So I'm trying to stay a bit more conscious of that as well. What is the best way to do this? What is the best way to do this? I suppose I could extend you like so. Or you know what? I think the best way is probably just to edit the barrier a bit more. I didn't ask the camera to move. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead right to the edge here. Can we move you a bit further? There we go, like that. And then, and then, 
get this up over here. One down there. I'm gonna pause for a quick second. For some reason, this corner is very laggy. Like, I know the frame rates have been dropping a little bit across the board, but this corner in particular, I've noticed, has been uh, extra laggy. All right, there we go. That's good, that's good. Cool. And that should solve that problem. Oh, look at how... Oh, man. I really like how this looks. I really like how this looks. Okay, um, what is up with our monkey? Quarantine passed. Don't know why you have to be brought down to this quarantine. We already had you at a different quarantine. But hey, that's not my business, as long as you got the job done. Oh, wait a second. It is my business. It's my zoo. <laughs> um, what are we looking at here? Vet research, I assume a little bit of uh, monkey business being accomplished over here. Alongside, potentially. Oh, no, reindeer. Wow, okay. I was wrong. I was wrong. All right, folks. I apologize. This this time lapse is basically at the end of this session. Um, just gonna just give me a couple more minutes over here. Gonna wait for the sun to come up properly. I want to see how guests are interacting with the space, and of course, I want to get some education boards down as well, which I should have done a long time ago. Uh, but there were, you know, playing unpaused is such a different experience at, at with the zoo at such a scale, and while also, you know talking about what I'm doing and things like that and trying to make sure it's <laughs> fun to watch. Um, it's so different from just playing on pause and not having to worry about uh, endless notifications about unhappy animals or what have you. What I'm looking for, align to surface. Let's get one down over here. Right, we'll put a speaker down right after. Uh, let's get one down mm, over here perhaps or over here. Sure, let's do that. Right, let's go ahead and get... Well, actually, before we go over there, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys assigned. Yeah, I don't know why it's so weird. Um, normally, when I zoom into an area, the frame rate picks up quite nicely. But this corner, for some reason, is not... Uh, Playing nice. I'll put you down over here. There we go. I just wanted to duplicate it so we had the uh, information on it already. And let's put another one down over here, right next to the donation bin. Cool. Oh, we're not getting power here. Fair enough. Easy solution. Get this over. Oh no, it just it just didn't assign. Great. Another weird new thing. I don't remember that happening before. Got to lower this a bit so it's lined up nicely. I think. Yeah. And then. Um, Let's go ahead and get our speakers. Pop you down over there. Actually, you know, I could probably put that in the middle. If I'm honest with myself. Put that in the middle over here. Go ahead and up its range. Cover both of these. Yeah, excellent. And let's go ahead and duplicate you. Let's see if we can't put you somewhere in like a centralized location over here. Like, over, yeah, say there. Cover both of these. So the moment you walk in, you're hearing about the Japanese macaque. A word which, by the way, I know I'm pronouncing incorrectly. Uh, I'm trying to get better at it. Especially because I don't want to get demonetized for saying it incorrectly. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm, I'm working on it, folks. I'm working on it. Uh, let's go ahead and get an education board down over here, I think. One or maybe two, even. One down, say, here. Put another one down. Where is it? Say, over here. I'm trying to make sure it's, like, roughly lined up. There we go. And, of course, assign the right animal. That would be helpful. Or, or even assign a animal. An animal, rather. Grammar being thrown out the window here. Excellent. And let's get an educational speaker. Again, I like kind of tucking these behind, right? They fit nicely. They, uh... Make sense. To have that way. Dude, there we go. 
Okay, and then over here as well. Now again, at the info center, actually, guests can buy um, audio guides. I wish you could see more evidence of that happening. Yeah, again, a little bit of overlap is not the end of the world, but I think I can just drop this by a notch or even two, one notch, and we're fine. Cool. Let's go ahead and see what this brings to uh, like to the table, so to speak. Let me see if I can't see some monkeys, right? Temperature comes up. I mean, I still like how this place looks when it's nice and green, but uh, there is something beautiful about it when it's covered in like a nice crisp layer of snow, isn't there? And the Japanese macaque, Japanese, there we go, is comfy with negative 15 to 29. So like our, our temperature values are perfect for them. I mean... Ah, there's something about the snow, though, isn't there? There's something about the snow. Go ahead and take a look at some coolers. Definitely want to drop some coolers down up over here. Want to make sure these mountains are snow-capped. And I guess we could put some snow down over here. We did put down the, the coffee shop for that very purpose. All right, so that guests were feeling a little too cold in the area. Have a have a choice. Let's keep guests in a comfortable in a, in, a, in a comfortable kind of local temperature. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and make this spot a bit more chilly. I believe just placing them down brings them to zero degrees. So hopefully that's uh, enough. I might want to go through and drop them even further. Down over there. Let's put another one down over here. Over here. Come on now. Cool. All right. Let's see if that brings us snow. I, I have some doubts, but we'll see. There are some guests over here. Multiple animals are stressed. I assume it's the flamingo. Yep. Lots of solutions being given for this, by the way, folks. I will take a look at uh, what it could be that does the job. You can see our security, so to speak, of being quiet is nicely spread across the board. You can also see we've got a vandalized bin over here because why not? Let's go ahead and Okay, hold on. This is these are some big issues. Place all done. What's the deal here? This is not a very helpful tool tip. Alright, you know what the problem is? The problem is we've got too many animals in too many enclosures. Too many uh like Exhibit animals in too many enclosures. Go ahead and do that. Exhibit is also not clean. That's partly because, of course, the um, there's so many animals in a small confined space, all you know, going through the natural cycles of life. It's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get gross. Uh, all right, sun is up, looking pretty beautiful. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe get into our time lapse. Eh? Um, there's a lot to be done in that time lapse. I'm very curious about guests maybe not coming up over here. It's only February, so we can't even see donations or anything. We saw a couple of guests come down this way. We see guests over here. That's great, using the washroom and stuff. The view of the giant panda from here is terrible. Great. Where? From where? Hang on. How did you get up here? Oh, you climbed the tree. You know what? I don't mind. That's adorable. Um, that's that's way too cute. <laughs> that's way 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 too cute to uh to get rid of. <laughs> I'm so glad we've we came across this. And it uh, it really does encapsulate how this uh, episode has felt so far. Perhaps it's been uh it's been sheer pandemonium, hasn't it? Boom. All right, let's go. Let's let's move on from that. Let's go ahead into our time lapse. There's some work to be done over here in that time lapse. And there's, of course, work to be done over there in our time lapse. So you know what? No more time to waste, folks. I apologize for assuming it would be closer to the beginning and for it actually being right at the end. But let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, folks. This is a... Uh, it's called a surprising 
um, time lapse. I end up spending more time on things than I would have expected. Uh, I end up doing, I end up focusing on things other than what I was actually expecting to. So I hope you all don't mind, but uh, we make some good progress. I'm very happy with the end result of it. Uh, the first thing I do is I forget to actually rename the enclosure from a, you know, game mechanics perspective. So I need to remember to do that. Um, and the second thing I do is uh, put the name down visually. So we're calling this the Nihonzaru Springs. Uh, there were a lot of excellent suggestions, as there always are, not just for the enclosure itself, but also for the uh, various vendor stalls and stuff that we were naming. Uh, I really like that view as well as you go up the ramp. But um, yeah, uh, Nihonzaru Springs, uh, it, 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 it's, the, it's the Japanese monkey springs is what that translates to. Another way to refer to the, uh, the Japanese macaque. Uh, Nihon is one of the ways that one says Japan in Japanese. Uh, there's Nihon and Ni uh, Nippon. Again, my pronunciation might be very butchery, and I apologize for that. And then Zaru is uh, monkey. So Nihon Zaru is Japanese monkey. Springs is, well, that's English. Um, but yeah, so uh, there, again, there were a lot of excellent suggestions. There were a lot of very punny suggestions, um, which is always welcome. Uh, and it's all really, at the end of the day, it boils down to uh, what feels right for the enclosure, I guess. And with this one being so, you know, almost, again, serene is what I'm hoping for. I, I felt like, uh, I felt like that worked nicely. Uh, now, yeah, this is not supposed to be an enclosure time lapse, and but lo and behold, it has become one. Uh, I wanted to add some, you know, climbing platforms and playing spaces and stuff for these uh, monkeys. Uh, and I end up... Again, I was gonna do just like one or two things and it just becomes, it kind of takes over. Uh, we do do a little bit of beautification as well though, so don't don't worry about that. I wanted to create this long, um, like, I don't, I don't know if I should call it a bridge. I guess the monkey bridge uh, for the monkeys to use. I don't know if they'll ever use it. They should be able to climb across it actually. Uh, I just realized I didn't check afterwards. I just assumed, and you know what they say about assuming, but um, uh, I thought it'd be neat to see if the monkeys would actually cross from over top of the water. That'd be quite neat. And I also wanted to do this uh, where they are... I think I mentioned this before the time lapse. I forget now. But it's sort of like a bunk bed situation uh, where they're able to sleep right by the entrance, right next to that education board as well. So that's kind of like their house. Uh, and then the bunk bed, you know, in in the context of a uh, of a uh, of, of a hot spring bath, it... Uh, it's kind of like where you would put your clothes down or where you might get your towel from or whatever it might be. So I kind of, I don't know, I, I was a little attached to that idea, I guess. And I was like, okay, let's try it out. And I think it works out. We'll see if the monkeys actually use it, but at least it's there for them to use. And then in the, on the other side over here as well, I want this to be climbable. And I don't think they can, despite the fact that those wooden pieces are, you know, made of wood and the monkeys should be able to walk across them because of their size and stuff. Um, I don't think the game quite works like that. Anyway, I think that's all the work I do at the enclosure. Um, ended up doing a lot more than I expected. That was actually a fair bit of time. Uh, but then I moved down to here again, doing the beauty pass for these uh, stores, these these uh, vendor stalls or whatever you want to call them. Uh, really happy with how they end up looking. Architecturally, I mean, my hands are a little tied as far as, you know, accuracy is concerned. So I hope y'all don't uh, grill me for the... Uh, for the use of generic Chinese architectural pieces. There is a fair bit of overlap, again, because of their shared cultural history, as it were, but uh, I feel like some of these pieces are um, distinctly Chinese, maybe, and uh, maybe I'm overthinking it. That's also a very, uh, you know, very high likelihood of that, but, uh, but, but, but nonetheless, it looks the part, you know, if we use a little bit of the uh, theater of the mind, it does the trick. And, uh, and it looks nice. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with how it looks. I, I think I'm being a little too uh, particular. I think it does look quite accurate. Um, but yeah, like a small little uh, collection of stalls rather than having them all be uh, individual units. And then you can see me contemplating something over here. And I, I will make good on those contemplations. Um, but one important thing was to make this back area look very beautiful. I wanted it to feel like a little garden space uh, somewhere where there was, you know, like a lot to do. Um, somewhere where there was like a reason to be, as it were. Um, you know, go grab your food, chill out, relax. You've come a long way. The exit is far away. Uh, so take a moment, sit down, use the washroom, and then head back, uh, you know, on the train or whatever it might be if you're just about to leave. 
recolored the uh, the washrooms as well. That's something I often forget to do until it's brought up in the comments. But this time, I think I, I think I beat the comments to it. So haha. <laughs> uh, and then again, you can see my contemplations. Uh, and then I, I'm I'm considering something and I'm reconsidering it over and over again. And it's the uh, the pausing. And I think at this point, I'm looking up references for something else. Um, so we kind of hang here for a second, but uh, I I'll come back. I'll come back in a moment and we'll touch on that later. Um, right, so before I actually get to the thing I was looking up references for, because, you know, why do things in any logical sense or order, I realized that I might want to have some benches down over here. And, uh, can we'll see. Hopefully guests start arriving up over there and, uh, and using that space. And I think that was my... I was, I was contemplating that decision one last time before I noticed this beautiful piece that really fits in nicely with the, uh, uh, the... The onsen, like having a little shrine type aesthetic going on, and then finally we're gonna come down here, and I'm gonna go in uh, for what I've been uh, what I've been contemplating. So this is a name suggestion that was given for one of the vendors, uh, but I couldn't find a vendor to fit perfectly with it. So I hope you don't mind. I did like the suggestion so much that I wanted to find a way to integrate it, uh, and I thought, why not call this, you know, open air food court? So matcha to do, because matcha tea, right? Matcha. So matcha to do, I mean, I, I think it works on on many levels. I think it works on many levels. I, lo I love the suggestion, so I modified it a little bit and, and used it. I hope you don't mind, um, but it uh, it was it was quite funny. Um, sidebar, matcha ice cream tastes like nothing. I'm going to put it out there. Matcha ice cream just tastes like air. I don't know if that's a complaint, but it's uh, just something that I, I don't think I'll ever forget. Um, anyway, <laughs> sidebar over. We're back over here. This is what I was looking up the references for. I got some excellent suggestions, uh, and I'm, I'm double checking my references just to make sure I've I've understood it properly. But I got a lot of suggestions with regards to uh, the fencing. I mentioned a couple of sessions ago that I, I would prefer to do something custom, and uh, I didn't really know what exactly it was going to be. And then y'all came through in the comments and provided me with an example of a finish type of traditional fencing. Now, I feel like I've seen it elsewhere before. I can't quite place it, and it might be that I saw it when I was... Again, I, I lived in Denmark for a few years, um, but I was really young. However, this overall form might be from there, or my brain is like melding two things together and is coming up with something. But I've seen this kind of uh, fence structure before. I think it's really interesting and really cool how it interlocks. Um, and again, it is, you know, from 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 my understanding of the comments, it is specifically a Finnish thing. So don't take my anecdote to mean that. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's Danish as well. I I know these cultures are different. I know these are different peoples. Don't uh, please don't misunderstand uh, that earlier statement for any kind of you know <laughs> ignorance or anything on that front. Uh, I just vaguely remember from my childhood seeing fencing uh, like this. Uh, but again, it could be you know, my mind conflating different things. Anyway, point being, uh, this was very culturally relevant. Uh, I thought it was pretty as well. I think it's really beautiful. Now, it's not a perfect recreation, of course, because the exact pieces that I would have to use aren't really available in game, but it's a pretty close approximation, I think. Now, of course, I'm not the expert, so if y'all spot any issues, feel free to let me know and we can go in and we can correct it so we can, again, stay true to our, uh, you know, respectful approach to these things. Uh, but I'm personally really, really happy with that. I'm a lot more happy with that than I was with what we had before because now it feels personal. Now it feels, uh, you know, like there's some thought that's been put into it and it just looks better, right? Like the log panel with the glass is a solution, but it's not, not an elegant solution. This, I like this. Uh, now over here, I'm moving on to putting down the vendors and stuff. Uh, I thought it'd be, I thought I'd be a clever guy and just kind of have this little bridge thing to bridge over into the enclosure that's on the other side of our little village that we're planning. It wasn't going to work because you can't layer paths that close to each other, which I still think is silly, but you can't do it. So that's not an option. We'll find a different way to transition people over. But here you can see I'm starting to plan how I'm going to put the vendors down. And this ended up being a bit more... What's the word I'm looking for? Problematic than I was anticipating and than I'd hoped for because unfortunately, and I, I don't know why it's like this. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure there's a technical reason. I'm not you know, complaining, um, but you can't scoop terrain into 
the uh, vendor stalls. So it's, it's, it's a cascade of issues. You can't scoop terrain into the vendor stalls. You're not allowed. You can't um, move paths into terrain without sculpting the terrain, as you can see right now. And again, you can't sculpt terrain around pathing either. You also can't get precision placement for the uh, the vendor stalls. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but it was it was highlighted red what, it, well, at the spot that would be the perfect spot to put them down. You can see it again there. Um, and I mean, it's just a it's a it's a cornucopia of conflicting crap. <laughs> There's my alliteration. Now, there's got to be a more elegant word to use, but honestly. This was this was a little uh, frustrating to deal with. Uh, the solution we come up with, I'm happy with. Uh, I would have preferred to use this style of uh, the housing. Um, I like the mound. I like the look of it and stuff like that. But we end up going with the uh, the tents instead. Uh, I'm happy with it. Don't get me wrong. If I wasn't happy with it, I wouldn't go with it. Uh, but I was hoping for um, I was hoping for the uh, the 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 mounds instead just because that to me that is like extremely unique like i've never seen that before um outside of like you know movies and like fantastical settings um but nonetheless we're going with the tents uh, still very excited to, to do this because again it's, it's a culture that i've known nothing about until this series so i was very excited to execute this and i hope i've again done it justice i'm gonna go ahead and put down the uh the central uh fireplace as well gotta have one of those right uh, and again, just using the Nordic DLC piece for that. It'll have its fire come through once we hit play. Uh, and then put some rocks down, of course, to, to hold that fire in place. But uh, that is the entirety of this time lapse, folks. So it's a bit of a beauty pass, yes. But it's also a bit of a enclosure work for the monkeys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, you need to let me know down below. All right, folks, we are back. There was, uh, there really was uh, so, so much to do. In that time lapse, eh? Oh boy! I <laughs> uh, just want to make note of a couple things. Actually, um, the the matcha pun was an excellent play of words that was suggested in the comments for a um, well for a couple of different options. Uh, ultimately, I didn't have like if we had a tea shop as opposed to a coffee shop, I might have you know used that. And then I realized you know part way through that time lapse, I may have mentioned this during the time lapse. I was like, oh, you know what? Let's call this, uh, let's call this so matcha to do, uh, and hopefully, you know, like headcanon, um, anybody that's walking by going, oh, there's not, there's not much to do here, subliminally, they'll be like, hmm, actually, maybe, th maybe there is a lot to do over here, and they'll actually, you know, maybe stay and check stuff out, and we'll see some guests, uh, I'm like, I'm like 20% joking, I'm like 80% joking, I don't know. Nonetheless, I thought it'd be pretty funny. Uh, plus, it ties into the fact that there is, uh, there is in fact, yeah, so much to do over here. There's a lot of food to get. There's an info center. I did also actually rename the Looney Balloons to Monkey Business. That was one of the suggested names um, that I've put put in. And then on the other side over here, um, you saw I tried a couple of variants. Uh, ultimately, this is probably what'll work best. I do still want to make the interiors look a bit more interesting. Now that I kind of get down in this low view, I realize, yeah, it doesn't really feel all that great. I like the, the top view, but once you get in there, um, I don't know how I feel about that. I was hoping to get this style uh, of housing unit down instead because I felt like that looked really cool, but the, uh, it would constantly as you saw break the terrain and stuff it was getting a little frustrating but hey it is what it is it's okay i'm i'm, I'm like i would say i'm like 80 percent happy with uh well no i'm 100 percent happy with the overall layout and stuff i really like the idea behind it and everything um but i'm only 80 percent happy with the overall execution i think if i go in there and fix things up a little bit it'll look uh it'll look better and i've got some ideas already as to how i might want to do that so that'll be cool um anyway folks let's uh unpause for a bit just want to see how people interact with the space and whatnot hopefully we'll get some guests coming through um and i wanted to see this fire come to life as well that looks pretty neat that looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with that you know what else i'm happy about i'm happy about that too that's great. We got a baby on the way. We got, uh, oof. folks, the, the, I don't know. I, I think there's something up today. In fact, you know what? I haven't shut my computer down in a couple of days because, uh, I've been, I've been working, uh, 
rather ridiculous hours lately, uh, day and night recording or editing or rendering or something or the other. So the computer actually hasn't had rest for many days. So I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if I've got like my cache all, you know, stuffed up and, and other issues that are causing problems because the putting pathing down today was also quite a struggle. Um, so we'll see how, uh, we'll see how it behaves next time around. We'll see how it behaves next time around. Where's your baby? You just walk in there without a care for the ridge. Uh, we got to make sure the baby gets put on to um, contraceptives right away, right? I'm trying to be more on top of that. I'm trying to be more on top of things in general. And wow, weren't we supposed to be doing a bunch of management this session with uh, animal happiness and stuff? Yeah, I just got completely distracted by uh, well, the monkeys. Looks like the monkeys are still able to get out over here, eh? Oh, I can't really check their escape routes. This way, how are you? Where? What? What allows you out there? Hopefully, you're not clipping through, because that would be silly. That would be silly. They're not able to climb these. They shouldn't be able to reach this area at all. They're able to reach their little bunk beds and stuff. That's all good. I wish I saw how uh, how they made it out. I mean, maybe, maybe they are clipping through, you know, so it's uh, just for the sake of better safe than sorry, as they say. Let's make sure they can't. Move this over like so. And before I forget, actually, because I did, <laughs> I did already forget. Let's go ahead and get uh, some of this bedding up top as well. Like I said, you know, I, I had this plan and then I had a bit of an idea as to how to execute it. I feel like this looks okay. It's not so much a shelving unit as I was initially concerned it might end up being, so um pretty happy with uh pretty happy with it actually. Let's see how the monkeys deal with it though. Uh I do want another female Japanese macaque. Multiple animals are stressed, gee, I wonder which ones. Three thousand. That's a little bit on the pricey side, I would say. Maybe a little unfairly priced over here. More males are available as well. Not bad genes over here. 2,500 down here. Okay. 3,000 is significantly better with longevity. I might get uh, Shigeko. We've got conservation credits, right? Sprinkles on top. <laughs> it's a cute zoo name. Let's go ahead and get you. Again, hopefully, we'll just pop you into this quarantine, and then eventually we'll pop you in there without too much uh, hassle. Yeah, see, it's just like everything is... This isn't like a frame rate thing. This is this is a, a bigger deal than, than just frame rates. Like, the game is just stuck right now. Well, that's the first time in a very long time that I've had to use Task Manager on a... Um, Oh my god, are you kidding me? I was about to say, it's been a long time since I've had to use Task Manager on a, uh, on a video game. We got kicked back pretty far, actually. My, uh, my little lights are gone. Oh, come on. Come on. This is, uh, it's starting to get a little crazy, folks. I mean, if, I'm thinking it's just a computer issue this time around, but if it's bigger than just a computer issue, just, again, like I said, because I've been keeping it on, for, for so long without uh, giving it any rest. Um, if it's bigger than that, then it might be very seriously time to start a new zoo. I might do... What I might do is I might do... Um, the... rest of the Arctic and East Asian animals, because we've got... You know, well, we're almost there, right? It'd be a bit of a bummer to not finish it off. Um, so we'd, like, get some of those done... Uh, rather get them done, I should say, and then, um, and, and, and then move on to uh, a new zoo for South America and South Africa. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll see what the issue is. Um, but it's starting to feel like it's about time because uh, the 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 frame rate drops have gone from just issues when uh, when we're zoomed out and and watching people walk around to uh when i'm trying to put you know put down path uh path words are not coming out of my mouth uh and that's obviously a big problem and if it's going to crash like that when i'm trying to put an animal into a uh 
into into quarantine, then we're uh, we're having some serious troubles, right? Like that that's a that's a big problem. That's not a small problem because that's something that we hopefully will be doing regularly, um, more than regularly. So I need to, or rather, we need to put some thought to that. Uh, I'm thinking we can finish the Arctic Circle finish the uh, East Asia section because there's only a couple animals left. And actually, folks, I would love to hear your thoughts as to which animal we should do next. So as I hit play momentarily to get this back up and running. Oh, yeah. Bigger fire than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to put us out. We'll be back bigger and brighter than ever. And it looks like even just the game being restarted helped a little bit, but. I don't know. Something to, something to start thinking about. Uh, but as I was saying, folks, I want to hear your thoughts. What do we do next? Do we do the. Uh, Arctic wolves, or do we do the Siberian tiger? I'd be cool with either. I love wolves. I like uh, tigers, so I'd be cool with either. And you know what? The point has been raised that we haven't taken a look at our wolf pack in a long time. Uh, we should really consider coming back down here and uh, taking care of some of these animals. Again, I was hoping to do a lot of management today, but just didn't get the chance to. There was <laughs> there was so much to do. Um, something to think about, though. Now, hold on a second. Where is our new monkey? I want to make sure that that monkey is... Not monkeying around, as it were. Our trade center is almost full. You know what? Next session might be our trade session. And again, the reason why I point that out is because that way you'll kind of know when to expect the tweet. Again, if you follow me on Twitter as to when uh, when I'll be doing the trades. Uh, if you're interested, obviously, in uh, picking up some of my animals. Let's go ahead and move you. Go ahead and move you. Quarantine. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. That's just the clicking. That's that's always been terrible for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, that's done and dealt with. How are we doing with our monkeys? Did this get updated? It did not. Right. I'm glad I checked. What else have I lost? How much else have we pulled back on. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and see if we can't find some of our monkeys here. See how they're hanging out. Not too many guests over here, unfortunately. Not yet, at least. Not presently. Why are you unhappy? Maybe they did just clip through last time. Enrichment is low. Oh, right, of course. I didn't put down any toys or anything. Well... I thought I did. Did I not put a... I mean, I guess that's really not enough. Enrichment items. Let's look at toys first real quick. A mirror mobile, I think, is a... Hold on. Nice try game. Ma car. There we go. Oh, yeah. Definitely got to, got to get the keyboard. Got to get the keyboard. Pop that down over there. No, didn't mean to put it in the group. Just on the ground. Thank you. And let's get the uh, mirror mobile as well. I think that's a fun toy. I think that's a fun toy. Cool. Toy enrichment is 100. And food. Let's see. I do like the suspended forager. Put one down over here. That's 100%. Uh, let's also get the small fixed roller feeder, only because that way we can have an enrichment feeder over here. And, um... And, uh, hopefully the animals will crowd around here a bit more as well, as a result of that. Cool. What are you- why are you staring at your food? Feast. Feast. Be happy and feast. Alright. I think, hopefully, guests will start coming through here now. We've got the train connection, we've got the walking connection. I mean, it's just a matter of, yeah, people actually coming through. Trains are very empty. I wonder if I should make them cheaper or something. Lots to think about still. I, I'm, I'm uh, really hoping we start getting more crowds in this area, because we have finally now invested a lot of time. We are seeing some people come up over here, which is good. Good, good, good. Good. Just a matter of getting people over here. And again, once we get the uh, Formosan Black Bear, which I'm planning on putting down over here, hopefully we'll see some more activity in this area. 
nonetheless, folks, I was just about to say no red uh, alerts, but uh, then one popped up. Sure, push you in there. I'm guessing we have some stressed out animals. Some of our tortoises are stressed. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that's we know why that is. I gotta figure out. It's when they cross the path. I mean, it's kind of weird when you can have walkthrough enclosures, but God forbid they're successful because then the animal gets stressed. I mean, yeah, I guess I could block them off, but then it's not really a walk through. It's it's a walk beside. If we if we just block them off using even more bushes or whatever it might be, then you're not walking among the animals at all. You're walking next to them, and I don't know. That just <laughs> At that point, it might as well just be a regular enclosure, which is one of the solutions that's been presented for the flamingo, the flamingo apocalypse, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just like, yeah, just split it into two enclosures. I wouldn't even do that. I just make it one enclosure up over here, and make this be the path through. It'll look the same, but it's not a walk through exhibit anymore. No, it's not really flamingo park anymore. You're not mingling with the animals anyway. I. Uh, Ramblings aside, hopefully we can find alternative solutions before we have to take the, uh, you know, the nuclear solutions, if you will. And hopefully we'll see the animals over here kind of running around a little bit, playing with some of these uh, climbing platforms and stuff we've given them, because that would be ideal. We'd really like to see, uh, see them having fun. There we go. New monkeys arrived. You're in a box for some reason. Unbox them all, please, and thank you. Good to see them not staying in their trees. Uh, there was a fair bit of talk in the comments about keeping them in, keeping the trees, moving the trees, shifting things around. Seems like uh, they are spending a decent bit of time outside of the trees, so that's 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 good. If only the guests would actually come through to enjoy the experience. Nonetheless, folks, that is something we'll tackle next time. Make sure your voice is heard. Top right corner, there's a poll to vote. Tiger versus Wolf. Need to know what the uh, the consensus is. Apart from that, as always, I intend to do a little bit of a staff naming and uh, animal sponsorship session. Not next time, but the time after that. However, I'm going to be collecting names and stuff, so leave a comment down below. Or again, if you're a uh, patron, let me know through a Patreon private message. And again, just as a reminder, that is a special perk for our uh, members and channel patrons. So, uh... If you're a channel member or a channel patron through Patreon, let me know. Cool. Sorry. Again, didn't want to go on a, on a tangent there, but just wanted to mention to make sure people remembered because it's been a long-ish episode. Well, it's felt long. It's, it's been a long time recording. Who knows what'll happen after that time lapse gets, uh, you know, time lapsed. Uh, nonetheless, folks, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach things on the channel, especially as a new month has arrived. Uh, really gives me an opportunity to reassess and uh, reconsider certain elements on the channel. A massive thanks, as always, goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly, and a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.